What's cracking, y'all? You are now watching Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. Anthony Edwards is back at it again with one of his horrible and moronic takes. In an interview with the Wall Street Journal, Ant Edwards said this, quote, they say it was tougher back then. It is now. But I don't think anybody had skill back then. Michael Jordan was the only one that really had skill. So that's why when they saw Kobe Bryant, they were like, oh my God. But now everybody has skill. <laughs> Anthony Edwards, Ant-Man, Ant Edwards. I have put out content previously on some takes by Ant Edwards that I disagreed with and I thought it showed his immaturity and lack of knowledge when it comes to the game of basketball and even to some degree what he was missing and his mentality. And while everybody was hopping on the Ant Edwards train, even before the playoffs, when his hype went through the roof, I was kind of like, yeah. and then he made a comment at the All-Star break, and I was like, okay, I'm going to pull back even more. Because I was already pulling back on him after his antics when they were trying to force feed Carl Anthony Towns the basketball so he could try to score more points than Joel Embiid one night and they ended up losing that game but but I already put out an episode about that but he was showing me signs of his immaturity and I and I said you know what I'm pulling some stock out of Anthony Edwards he ain't that guy and he has some more growing to do and then he comes out and says what he just says to the Wall Street Journal and I'm just reading this and I'm like these poor kids, these poor kids, these players of today, the young fans of today, these guys really don't understand. How do I reach these kids? They really don't. Nobody had skills back when Jordan played and before Jordan. And that comment, you're basically saying that everyone before Jordan as well weren't very skilled or as skilled as the players are today. Have you lost your goddamn mind? You know nothing. Anybody that agrees with him know nothing about the history of the NBA and the great players that have paved the way for the players today that have set the table for them to be where they are, for them to get the money that they're getting, and for them to pick apart from past player skills and add them to their game. No regard for these people. I put out a video uh, months ago about a feature Kobe Bryant put together because he was working on animation and storytelling and things like that. And it had to do with players of the past and recognizing the great players of the past. It's so beautifully done. I'm going to put a link to that video in the description of this one. So, so definitely go check it out if you haven't seen it. And if you're a young guy that doesn't understand the history or understand, you know, where the things you're seeing today came from, go check that video out in the description of this video. I'm telling you, it's a masterpiece. Kobe was an artist off the court as well. These kids just grow up in these prestige basketball programs from either parents with money, not all of them, um, but but they really don't know anything about the history of the game. They're just playing it. And a lot of these guys didn't even watch the NBA growing up. They just played basketball. And I think that has something to do with it. But you have to be a combination of stupid, ignorant, and naive to say something like this and completely disregard all other great players besides Michael Jordan. And I'm a Michael Jordan guy. I think Michael Jordan's the GOAT. But to say that he was the only skilled player back then is absolutely blasphemous. At the time, had we seen a player with all the combination of skills and athleticism that allowed him to do things that other players couldn't, along with his other skill sets, 
No, he was the first that we've seen quite like that. But there were plenty of other skilled players, even players that had skills that were better than some of the skills Michael Jordan had. Come on, man. What are we talking about? I could go down a list of great players that were skilled, even ones way before Jordan. Wilt Chamberlain played in the 1950s into the 1970s, a seven footer that could do anything practically that you see Giannis Antetokounmpo, excuse me, Giannis Antetokounmpo doing now, but even more polished offensively, a better playmaker, a better passer, better ball handler, better post player, Arguably, you could probably make an argument for a better defender, but they weren't keeping track of blocks back then when Wilt played. Man, Wilt's one of the most skilled players of all time, and he played in the 50s and to the 70s. What are we talking about? Jerry West, have you ever seen Jerry West play? Man, Jerry West was a maestro with the basketball, dribbling, playmaking, and scoring. He played in the 1960s. Pistol Pete Maravich played in the 1970s. You know, people often regard Kyrie Irving the most skilled player. I don't think he's the most skilled player ever. I think he's one of them. You know, people look at his ball handling, his footwork, what he can do with his hands around the basket. Man, Pistol Pete was doing that in the 1970s. Maybe not to the level Kyrie was, but I've seen Pete do some things I've never seen Kyrie do. Pete Maravich was extremely skilled. Come on. Iceman, George Gervin. Have you seen that man play? He was in the 1970s too. He was a wizard with the basketball and could score in so many ways. You want to talk about footwork too? Isaiah Thomas. Come on, man. One of the greatest point guards of all time. And I don't like Isaiah. I can't stand Isaiah. But that boy had skills. Passing the ball, could score the ball, could handle that ball, had that ball on the string, and played defense. Skilled defensively as well. Something that barely anybody has in today's NBA. But when they talk about skills, they only want to talk about offensive skills. They don't want to talk about defense. You could throw Will Chamberlain in there too for defense. You want to talk about defensive skills, throw Bill Russell in there too. Larry Bird, Larry Joe Bird, Larry Legend. Shout out to the Bird gang right here on the channel. Larry Bird, one of the most skilled players of all time. Larry Bird probably is more skilled than anybody in the NBA today, arguably. Yeah. You can say that. Have you seen what Larry Bird can do? To this day, Larry Bird has done things that I have not seen replicated or duplicated in the NBA since. A guy that had no weaknesses. Tell me a Larry Bird weakness. Tell me. And it wasn't his defense. I can tell you that for damn sure. Man could do anything on the court. Right hand or left hand. Didn't matter. Didn't matter who was guarding him. Did what he wanted. Kevin McHale, Larry Bird's teammate. Kevin McHale, one of the greatest low post presence we have ever seen. Some of the greatest footwork you have ever seen in the low post. Could score with any hand. The dude was unstoppable on offense. And he was a solid defender. He wasn't a great defensive player, but he was a solid defensive player. He wasn't a liability. Man, Kevin McHale has footwork that I still haven't seen bigs or even power forwards display. As far as bigs go, definitely, in my opinion, Kevin McHale is the second greatest of all time when it comes to footwork after Hakeem Olajuwon. And some people would have McHale ahead of Hakeem. I don't, but there's an argument to be made. And while we're talking about it, Hakeem Olajuwon, all the things that man could do offensively and defensively. Many people believe Hakeem's the greatest center of all time when they look at his body of work and his skill set. You kidding me? Have you seen the dream work? Have you seen his footwork? Have you seen his skills defensively? Come on, bro. What? Oscar Robertson, Moses Malone, The Doctor, Julie Serving. He's done things that I haven't even seen players duplicate. That man was supremely skilled. Supremely. I ain't even gonna talk about what he did for basketball. Keeping them on life support. Until Bird and Magic came. I didn't even mention Magic. Man, you know how skilled Magic was? I have never seen a guy throw some of the passes that Magic Johnson can make. Half court or full court. Especially at his size. Underrated ball handler as well. 
Come on, man, stop it. The undersized Charles Barkley at his position. You see what Charles Barkley could do with the basketball? Talk about skills? Round mound and rebound? Chuck was unstoppable. People didn't even know that man could handle the basketball like he did. Plays back to the basket like he did. Played face front the way he did. Footwork, all that. Right hand, left hand. That was Charles Barkley. Don't get it twisted. John Stockton, Carl Malone, all these guys were skilled. Grant Hill. See, a lot of y'all young bucks probably don't even know who Grant Hill is. Man, Grant Hill is one of the most talented, skilled basketball players I've ever seen. And the reason you don't know about him is because he never really got to enjoy a lengthy prime because of injuries. But Grant Hill, you know, in an alternate universe, had he stayed healthy, might end up a top 10 player of all time. That's how amazing Grant Hill was on both ends of the floor. That man could do anything and everything. Ball handling, footwork, passing, rebounding, shooting, long ball, athleticism, finishing at the basket, passing. Did I say passing? Grant Hill was the LeBron James before LeBron James, except he wasn't a ball monopolizer. He didn't give a damn about stats. It was more organic. You're talking about one of the greatest what-ifs of all time. Bill Walton, one of the greatest bigs of all time. Another what-if. But you saw what he could do before his injuries. Man, won an NBA championship. Had an NBA Finals MVP. Amazing footwork. Amazing passer. Rest in peace. Tim Hardaway. He was skilled. Offensively, the man was, was a maestro with the basketball. Rod Strickland. Man, where do you think Kyrie got his handles from? Rod Strickland was the Kyrie before the Kyrie. Scottie Pippen skilled on both ends of the floor. Mark Price. The Steph Curry before the Steph Curry. Man, Mark Price was a beast, boy. That white boy could play. Mark Price was the definition of a hooper. Mark Price was a hooper. Promise you that. Ball on a string. Handles. Pull up mid-range. Get to the cup. Long range bombs. Curling around them screens. All that. Man, I got a much I, I I got a much longer list of players I can go through that were skilled. I didn't even mention Sidney Moncrief, man. Listen, man. Please stop this. Please. This is embarrassing. Embarrassing. For anybody that shares this mindset of Ant Edwards. For anybody that tries to tear down the legacies of these great players before us. Before what we're seeing today, the guys that have set the standard and set the table for you guys to continuously dismiss these players and say they weren't skilled is disgusting. It's disgusting, man, and it's sad. I, I Just because you didn't experience something doesn't mean it never existed. And you have all the media, and not as much media as, as there should be on these past players. Because the NBA has a whole vault of video footage and they're not releasing it. But there's enough stuff there for you to get a peep and see what these players brought to the table and how great they were. And you're being ignorant, not doing your research. Before you make a statement like that. You don't have to do your research, but if you don't, you can't make a statement like that and just openly dismiss them without knowing. You can't do that. You can't. That's like saying you're getting in an argument with somebody about which video game you like better and then be like, nah, this video game is way better than that one, but you never played the other one before. Well, how can you say that? You can say, I really like this one, but I don't have the knowledge and I've never played that other video game. But people just be like, nah, that game sucks. It ain't better than this one. Nah, it ain't better than this one. You don't know. You never played it. It's so ignorant. Naive. And this is Anthony Edwards, the guy that people believe now is the face of the NBA or believe he should be the face of the NBA or believe he is going to be the face of the NBA soon. This guy, this is the guy you want to be the face of your league making comments like that? completely disrespectful to the history of the NBA and the great players before? This is your face of the NBA, people. Anthony Edwards. <laughs> oh my God, boy. I tell
tell you, man. These players really think they're the creme de la creme in the history of the NBA. But they're the creme de la crap. And you got all these old school players sticking up for these young guys today. Saying that the game is so much better. So much more great. These players are so much more skilled. The game is in a good place. Game is in the right place right now. Players like Larry Bird sticking up for these guys. And this is what they give him back? A slap in the goddamn face? A slap in the face? Sticking up for this inferior league? Like they're superior? And they just slap you in the face back with comments like this? And their jaded opinions? Man, get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Disrespectful. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified. And hop off that Aunt Edwards train. He needs some growing to do. We out, baby.